Please smoke responsibly. Welcome to D&D 420 Recap 19 for From Dusk. My name is Tommy. I play Throven, a human cleric. I am joining me is one of my co-hosts, Mike. What's up? Who plays who plays Raz Pip, who's a gnome illusionist. Mm-hmm. Another co-host is Matt. Where you at, Matt? Yeah! Who plays Vras, who is a human barbarian that turns into a hole and low, which is a Cave lion, I do believe. Yeah. The other people that join us is Nathan, who plays Nassau, who is actually a tiefling, and he's a dust blade, and Jim, who is our friend. Um, he's a DM and he's the grand tormentor as he calls himself. But it's sad to say, everyone, I have to get to this before we begin. We lost a man. Not due to sickness or death, but due to time. He's um, Bert, who plays Brock the dwarf, could no longer play with us, and I had to drop out of the game. So, I would like to take this time to have a moment of silence. All right. So, <laughs> right on, right on. I, I don't know how. <laughs> All right. And for you guys listening, remember that we are a guild called D and D Four Twenty, playing the world created by our friend and buddy and guild master Jim, centered around a city called Volcarmanar in the world of dark. All right. So let's go ahead and begin this recap. Nineteen. Let's start us off. I'm gonna pick on someone else. They start us off, Matt. Oh man, starting off at the fucking the armor again. Some, well, what was it? Pick your armor for Nassau. I think he was placed where, in the I mean, order. That's where yeah. we ended. He, he was placed in the order. Yeah, we ended um, session um, eighteen uh, oh, with man. him going to armor, and nineteen we picked up with him actually getting his armor. He's upgrading from light armor to um, yeah, got to some chain armor. Though, I think yeah. or. Yeah, he's good. Jay Mel is correct, yes. Okay, okay. All right, after Helga, the armor, after that, we went to, well, I think it was the Grove, the, um, I forget who, the Shaman's Grove, we were going back through. Yeah. And that's when we noticed that body laying there, and then we, then we noticed these fucking well, four. Yeah, they, they made sounds, though. Yeah, right? there, there was like yeah. a chittering Yeah, you're sound. right, yeah. They, they, and, and honestly, we weren't going, I wasn't going to uh, investigate it, but uh, they they left us no choice. Yeah. Um, yeah, they saw us. We saw them. They attacked us. Oh yeah, it was a it was a battle where I mean we had crowd control going. As Vras Ra- just saw what was in front of him, and then we sort of put rage him in the bind. Um, yeah, rage got into two people crowd control, and so two other ones came up on our flank and pretty much just, I mean. Yeah, we had them separated yeah. two and twos. Um, yeah. Me and Nassau were, were focusing on the two that were towards the southern end of the, the, the picture that we were using. And uh, he got in a bad way because uh, yeah. they were hitting hard. Yeah, their uh, and, damage output was nuts. I mean, fuck. But, I think it was like 45 damage on me the first hit. Yeah, yeah. that's like instantly in half. Now, see, that would have been a death blow to, to a little pip, so... Yeah. It scares the hell out of me. That's why I stand in front. <laughs> but Nassau got was in a position where I mean he got to the the point where you know the warning lights and klaxons were going off and and he was mm-hmm. going down if he got hit again. I think that's when um, oh and he crit failed and dropped his sword. Yeah, he dropped his sword. <laughs> Or some people might say threw his sword. But he <laughs> 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 kind of flung it, yeah. <laughs> Uh, but uh, well, uh, Pip uh, uh, invisibled him or cast invisibility on him, so he could rearrange uh, his self and and not die. And uh, I think you had already thrown had already joined us down there. Yeah, um, I, jo- I joined down there. Yeah. You kind of even you like you kind of ordered them too. I remember Rasp like in new position. Shit, that was cool. 
Well, yeah, I didn't want him to die. You know, it's like, hey, like well, that. you know, I was like, I'm trying to use free action. I guess on a free action, you can talk, right? I mean, talk. You can talk. Free. Free. Yeah. So, you know, I, I want to let him know, like, get, you know, collect your shit and, and get in a, in a, good position don't die on me you know <laughs> lieutenant dan told us to get yeah. down and shut up get down shut up <laughs> free action free action, <laughs> free action. <All> right. <laughs> we were able to take them down though um we were able uh, yes, to yes. clear out the beetles and uh throven had the crazy idea that he's going to drag this dead I barbarian body back to body. town and and pimp's just like what are you doing man? i carry yeah, his cool. body I carried his body back to town because I knew how they were. When a person dies in that community, they are a community type. You know, they live and life and death is a cycle to them. So mm -hmm. bringing him back will just be sort of like the it will appease them. It would be I mean, a good thing to do. Yeah. Yeah. Despite Frass being a barbarian, this is the first time he's ever been outside the the safe Volcaminar. The first time he's really seen the wild you know, the wild side of the people. You know, the yeah. and, and and also and it's they... almost it, it's almost you know there, there's always two foes that like you bring him back to say like hey you brought the body but you also bring him back says look what we did and <laughs> we killed the stuff and yep, your guy killed died the guys that killed him yeah yeah we killed we make sure those guys are dead and we brought your body back so it's you know well, sort they, of like they appreciated it they appreciated yeah, yeah. the fact Marta... even though pip was totally against it yeah i thought they was gonna laugh they was gonna they was gonna laugh at me indirectly you know but I guess I was wrong. Yeah, Pip was proven wrong. Yeah. No, no, Pip just thought he's, he was going to be laughed at. Directly, yeah, directly. Yeah, 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 nothing to do with anything else with Pip getting laughed at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're all going to laugh at you. But, uh, well, and no, they, it was respected because I, and I didn't put that in the notes, fellas, because um, Marta came and said, hey, I'll buy you a round of beers, you know. Uh, oh, yeah, oh, so. yeah, yeah. Yeah. But from there, I mean, we said, okay, here's your body. And we went to uh, Gwig's Furnishings is where we had dropped our packs off um, a few sessions ago to have them repaired. Um, and that's where we also bought the uh, the rings that were gifted to you guys. We went back there to collect the uh, collect our packs. And I think that's all we did. Um, we went and collected our packs and then went back to the bar, didn't we? Yeah, that's where in the... Uh... Then we might come by the bar, did some stuff, and then remember we met Marta. She came and bought us drinks. Yeah, she came and bought us yeah. drinks. Um, uh, yeah, she didn't I was say much. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It didn't stay too long you, either. You know, I, didn't we just before when Marta came and? Oh no! Wait a minute. No, that's not when Marta asked us for drinks. It, Marta asked us for drinks when we uh, when you were fucking with me with um. Oh. With the uh, witch guy. Yeah. yeah, it may have been. Well, it happened somehow <laughs> well yeah yeah you remember and you came around and i remember when jim he said like you turn around you hear like throven right and you hear all of it and we said it was you know i said oh, oh yeah, yeah and yeah, we thought it was which yeah. car, but okay. was, he said, oh, i'm just kidding it's marta so yeah maybe that was it see i try to go off notes man i'm not i'm not a uh i'm not a trump here i i gotta follow my my notes you know, I can't go off off. Uh, what do they call it? Off prompter. So, okay. Well, I apologize for that. But anyways, we got our packs, went to home base or were the bar, <laughs> and yeah. and slept. Pretty much, we didn't do anything for us. Yeah, day. yeah, I don't think we did. Yeah. The next and morning, then, however, was was yeah. excitement. Yeah, that's when we woke up, I cooked, and we go out. We get out. We, you know, it's like the sun. I, I, I don't. I know there's not a sun, but I guess the the torches are high. You know, the torches mm -hmm. are. There's more torches out. We go out, and out of the corner of my eye, me and Ras think we see sticks. Sticks, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so like, sticks was over there and running, and and sticks was running off, but then turns around, and looks at Pip, and says, "Pip, you better not be fucking with me." <laughs> now, and and now I'm gonna take a break here just to let her. Uh, yeah. Okay. Our listeners know if you're new to our our recaps, Erastix <clears throat> was uh, his Throven's um, love, true love that that he yeah. that I mean he does everything for her. So and we've mentioned her many many times. And uh, it, when Pip was confronted, "Hey, was that you?" I just smiled and said, "No, that wasn't me." Yeah. So. Myself and Rash, we hurry off, we go into that. I guess we go take yeah. a turn. There was no one there. There's nothing there. Okay, well. And we they, they bitched and bitched about it. 
and bitched yeah. and bitched about it. And then I said, yeah. well, fine, if it'll make you feel better, it was me. So then I was telling the truth at that point, you know. Yeah, okay. Everything oh, was yeah, always yeah. muddled up so much, yeah. you know, so it didn't really matter if it was me or not. Yeah, and then that's when we went to go get my mask. Yeah, yeah. I do believe. Went to go grab my mask. I grabbed my mask. It was a magnificent mask. and a symbol, like the symbol I wanted of Simon Kov or Anila Ram on the front of it. It was tight. It was really nice mask. We had another. And then, you know, I, I was proud of it. And then I come out again and I see sticks again turn the corner going down the alleyway and i sort of got mad at pip again this better not be you pip <laughs> and you said no no so we'll go running off down the alleyway and we're walking and then what i see the silent image pip, of pip laughing pip, and yeah pip yeah pip and pour it in and turn around and see pip and say, pip god damn it <laughs> uh, see, man, pip gets then, bored yeah, you said you were doing it because yeah you were bored <laughs> yeah <laughs> fucking rasp pip and Simon Cough when... likes a good joke. Yeah, well. <laughs> Rats was half not... annoyed, half thought it was kind of funny. Not, not, not. I thought you should, should stay with Throven, stand with Throven. But that's when Marta comes and says, hey, you know, you know, she calls us by name and says, yeah, I can't yeah. hear. She'd like to buy us a drink. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But that, that really, I try to convey how much that, that, Damage and hurt to Robin, you know, uh, missed her of that of that one hope of saying like well, she may be here. I mean, even though why would she be here? And of course, knowing that you were, you know, like you know, sort of picking up that it, it was you, but at the end succumbing and falling to your ruse. So <laughs> it was, yeah, I like the way you played it, man, because like Throven was super depressed for like yeah, well the done. rest yeah. of the game, yeah. man. I don't know, like to bother down too <laughs> yeah. far. It's like Until that. towards the end oh, when we yeah, had to fight when the we, yeah, man, yeah, I yeah. got really Yeah, I was really You had to get that. the fight back into him. Yeah. But uh Oh yeah, yeah. Well also because you remember when we go back to the stag beetle, I was missing a lot. Like I was rolling fours and fives yeah, and yeah. here like, you know, fucking you know, Rass would have like, you know, a plus four to hit a hero like a seventeen and an eighteen is like getting like all these hits off and I can I can hit shit with a plus ten and stuff. <laughs> so, you know, it was like Man, this this really sucks. And then I I sort of after that I sort of said like Cybercoff is sort of displeased with me or maybe he doesn't want us to stay here that long or something, you know. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah you wouldn't rationalize it. And Vras kind of you know Vras... No, Vras didn't want to leave. No, you wanted to leave though, because of yeah. that, because of what you said. But Vras is y'all you know, I this is the place to this is my he, Yeah, he's looking for real estate. I, I think yeah. Vras was a place, yeah. Yeah. And, I, you know, yeah, I think that's when I Went to buy. The, I, I guess I bought some onions then. That's when I bought. Uh, well, onions. we we ran back out to um, okay. uh, you know Zara. Oh, that's right. We we took up another bucket of beer because uh, Nassau still has some questions, and she was just totally rebuffed us. She totally shut us yeah. down, kicked the beer over. Hey, why the hell are you guys here? Get out of my, yeah, you know, get out of here. Fuck so off. we just yeah, like, yeah, okay, yeah. whatever, we're out of here. Yeah, we're out. Yeah. Yeah, don't want no trouble with Claire. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, and that's why I think I know I got some onions and went back and um, because I think the night before the bartender he was he had onions and he mm -hmm. made a gravy, mm -hmm. a gravy stuff with the stuff that was pretty good. So I I got some onions, but I tried to make some onion bread. It was my first time. I was really sad and the soup was okay and you know just I was just. I was sad. And I could, it was, I, it was, I yeah, it. yeah, you did. I think you did a wonderful right. job. Yeah, I, yeah, I thought, yeah. like, man, <laughs> Tommy's heart's broken. I feel bad, kind of. Well, the throat but, yeah, throat hurt. <laughs> I know, I know. I, we've talked about this, you know, being able to set, uh, set the character apart from the player, you know, kind of thing. But, uh, um, and we, we basically prepped to leave on, on the way back to, to the bar. Um, after the, the uh, man, I want to say words. I don't want to say you know Zara, because um, uh, yeah, because I stopped and got some like cheap paper and some uh, uh, charcoal. Because I'm I'm going to try to cartography, cartographize, yeah, that's right. Map yeah. map our yeah. stuff out. So I had big ass mm -hmm. piece of paper and uh, went back to the bar while you cooked. I was cutting it up and shit. And... Yeah, yeah, yeah Raspip yeah. smart. Yeah, goddamn. Yeah, of course. Yeah, he's yeah he's a wizard. smart man. Well, everywhere we go, I'm like, man, is there a map? Like, map? What is a yeah. map? I'm like, fuck this, man. This shit, I'm, I'm going to draw this shit out, man. I, I put, like, we leveled up. I put points into it. Okay, here we go. I got a lot of points in it, but I'll give it a shot. So, I know during that time when you were doing that, Martyr comes in, has a drink with us. I, I guess sort of just like one drink, maybe. 
not that. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was yeah. kind of a winter yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, and I think I in my saddened state, we went and um, Rask and I. Well, Rask went to the other room. We went to the other room, and yeah, Rask had that. Pit. Oh, that's so that pit I pit had pit. it written down. Yeah, you guys Trained did some. It, yeah. uh, some pit fighting, yeah. Yeah. So I so, fought against this. Do you, uh, you say some pip fighting or some pit pit, 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 pit fighting? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because you went first and that guy sort of fucked you up real good. Oh, he did fuck me up. Yeah, I had to yeah. yield because, you know, yeah. I, you know, a good fight though. He was, he hits hard, just as hard as you threw him. And then you nah, went he, down there and. He hits harder than me. He doesn't hit, he hits harder. <laughs> All right, yeah. Because the way he was doing it, it was like, oh, he's probably 2D6. Yeah. Yeah. I forget what was, did you uh I, I remember it was even fight for a while, but he ended up Yeah, it was missed. it was even fight for a while, but then the misses start coming back for me. I couldn't stun I couldn't hit my stunning fist on him, so it was just getting sort yeah. of miserable, which is sort of the first time I was using stunning fist. But it was like it was it was time for him because he's a fist fighter and I just, but Yep. That's what happened. But he I, I went down. I fought to the end. Until, yeah, you did. Yeah. You did. Yeah. And then that's what gained his respect. We talked yeah. about him. He gave me something. I healed him using Simon Cough. And, <laughs> yeah, he. We talked a little bit. I went back in and brought another beer, and we just talked. And yeah, and it was yeah. And yeah. then came back there. Yeah. And that 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 was about it for for the night. Um, because we're we're yeah. leaving in the morning. Um, did our 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 sleep. Uh, our our beginning preps. Okay, let's go. Get the the Nash horns. Yeah, that's where we slept. We yeah. woke up. We had we prep. I told Robin to Vras say, "Hey, go check on a Nash horn." Yeah, Vras then... goes in there and no Nash horn. Yeah. <clears throat> so and we said last large. So the bartender said that. Well, I just fed him last night. You know, I took yeah, care of him last night because yeah. we sort of forgot all about our Nash horn. <laughs> it's like, fuck it. it I assume they were like stabled or something. Well, we well luckily, luckily, board gear was intended to them, you know. Yeah. We must mention them. And then, um, you know, we had to go. We went to ask around. Throven, I think, got a good. He, I think, he had to get uh, gather information. He ended up going to the front gate and say, "Oh, but the front gate would know if they left or not." And it would end up like, "Oh yeah, we saw some lizard men on some nashorn." And we said that was ours. And he sort of got sort of that nervous. You know, his voice says, those were yours? Like, ah, oh, god damn it. <laughs> but it, it yeah, it, it brought sort of glee though. It was like it was like that, like, god damn it, but now this the, the, now it deserves this this deserves a day because you remember uh three sessions ago, I guess, a, when we were in that first pit fight, he stabbed me in the back. Oh yeah, he yeah, gave, uh, sneak attacked me. Yeah. Well Varg. Like, well, well, Varg, yeah. yeah, Varg, yeah. The, the, the head of Varg. Man. Yeah. So I mean to go after these guys and teach him a lesson would most definitely be. It was it was happy moment and a sad moment for Fraz. He was leaving the place that he you know a place that he would like to call home at some. Yeah, which you can always come back. <clears throat> yeah, but I'm also getting to kill some lizard men. Some of the people who fucking enslaved some of the Holin and other animals, caged them. They were not really caged oh, yeah. them, but put them on chains. And, and, and it was it was one of the times where you realized it was a trap, and you were walking through that trap. But you said like we don't give a fuck. You know, it's a trap. <laughs> yeah, we, we gonna kick your ass. <laughs> that's that's how crazy it was. Like oh yeah, this is a trap. Yeah, we... it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. I'm glad because yeah, I'm glad we're gonna turn Cause... the tables real quick. All right, yeah, let's get into this battle. Let's, let's you know we we're walking and all of a sudden we're there. It's battle time. The way it was laid out, we had that that big giant lizard in front. You see the lizard men around him. Yep. And, yep. And I will say Pip. I mean, Mike, right away, yes, it was you. you this battle was won by you. <laughs> well, I don't know about that. Ah, come on, man. I mean, come on. Let's let's think about it. Within the first I round. I got some cool factor stuff in there. Because within the first round, you did Phantasma Killer and one guy just dropped. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Bitching that bring me my Nash horns yeah, and cool. yeah. you know. Yeah, so yeah, they, yeah, I kept on saying bring me my Nash horns. The sec second round, I do believe you did that thing with uh, reduce the guy's dex and wisdom on the lizard. Mm. Uh, yeah, I think so. That may have been the next yeah. one. Yeah, so he was he was, became lethargic. They were wondering what's going on. Vras was hitting on him. Um, brought out then, the uh, firewall, and then you brought the wall of fire. You raised your hand up. You know, you're, you're clutching something. This light comes out. This wall of fire hits all these. 
a lizard man on the side, and they're jumping off the water. Some of them are running out, and one just <laughs> fuck it and runs off. <laughs> you don't pay me enough for this, and just go. <laughs> You know, and by that time, I'm Brad, hoping you went to get our Nash worms, actually, you man, because well, the whole time yeah, I'm bitching. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I know it's not. <laughs> Go get it, my Nash worms in Draconic, yeah. Well, I mean, but the you know, cool thing about it, we know they speak Draconic, so now in those battles, we can give them warning. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> fair warning. That's that's cool. But yeah, you, you did that. Vras moved in. Um, there was one guy giving Vras sort of trouble because there was nothing on the high ground, and Vras was in five feet of water because there's some water <laughs> down there. <laughs> And we end up, he ended up taking that off. And then um, Nassau ended up going up to Varg, you know, Varg. And, and you also did your, didn't you do the, the entrapment on him too? So he could, yeah, move? yeah, so he could yeah, yeah, get away. Fun. Yeah. So, I mean, Mike Pip did like three huge things, you know, what, one, two, three, four huge things in that battle. So, um, and then, of course, at the end, it was Raz hitting what you call it and saying, like, you know, he deserves that. And, and Throwbins on fire and angry and just hitting them in the ground. Oh, yeah, that was, man, such a bad... Yeah, he got pulsed. Yeah, kicking them, hitting you them, kneeing them. You him to fucking yeah. death. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, God <laughs> it, was, it was a time I felt like brass, you know. I was, I was hitting, like, oh, yeah, I get to hit, like, three times or something that's almost dead anyway. So <laughs> it was like, yeah, I'm doing some damage. Oh, yeah, great scene, though. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that fight quite a bit. I get to... to uh, at least I felt like I shined a bit. Or got to. Yeah. It was fun. Yeah, it was it, no shine a bit. You shine through that whole battle. That yeah, was great was crowd cool. control. Yeah, that true. was excellent that use of of uh, damage spell slash cla- cla- uh, a crowd control spell of having them and even you know holding the bad guy, which you again mm-hmm. you yeah I mean, yeah was, we won that fight because of you yeah that was well, cool. I don't know Damn. about that but it was cool it was cool. Yeah, a little bit um, of all of us, a lot of rasp in that fight. Goddamn! But we called the game right after that. We didn't even get to search them because uh, at that point we had gone over, you know, our normal yeah. stop time by about fifteen minutes or so. So uh, we had some people needing to jump off, and we called it right there. Yeah, yeah, we did. That was that was the end of it. All right, so that brings us in of this session. Now we like to do something that's called favorite moments. So favorite moments of this session, I'll start off. I really liked how Pip showcased what he did in that last battle with the Lizardman. I mean, he was everywhere. I mean, if, uh, again, would it have been a harder fight without him? Uh, yeah, of course it would have been. And women at crowd control, you've been pelted with stuff. The wall of the wall of fire was used. The thing on the on the, the big lizard, the drop in the guy, when he did that this first, just drop the guy. And the guy, you know, that's already people were dead, you know, that's already like fearful already. Like, ah, oh, drop that guy. This for shits and giggles. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then us coming up and holding a, the the last varg and and the kill him. So, I love that. I think it showcased what you can do, you know, and and definitely, you know, show you know review Mike in the direction you're going to. Um, how about yourself, Mike? What's your favorite moments? My favorite moments <clears throat> of our, our last game uh, was honestly fucking with you, Tommy. Um, fucking with Throw, <laughs> actually. Um, mm-hmm. I was whispering uh, our grand tormentor, Jim, um, saying, hey, I'm going to do these you know, silent images. Um, and Pip was bored, man, and I really enjoyed that. I think I enjoyed more the reaction I got out of it because um, uh, uh Throven was it felt genuinely depressed afterwards, mm, yeah. you know, so it was cool because, I mean, it, it invoked a, an emotional reaction out of Throven and as well as, as the player, Mike. I mean, I was like, man, I can't believe I did that, you know, so <laughs> it, it was fun. It was fun. It was good. It was good. It was good to fun play it out. It was good to show, you know, the connection to um to sticks and so mm-hmm. i i, I mm-hmm. like that and i want to convey that you know just think of something sad it was wonderful uh, yeah matt matt what was your favorite oh, moment you, you know my favorite moment was actually with nasa and us when with, when nasa when we uh when we take that bucket of ale to clerk's cave and we'll agree with you know zara yeah and this is the one moment nasa because nasa is this fucking this this menacing ruthless guy and he has his kind gesture to try to get some information out of her. <laughs> and he gets that bucket to her, and she tells us to get the fuck out. Well, she doesn't say that to us, but, you know, it's kind yeah, of yeah. That's how we're feeling. And yeah, we, she... we leave the bucket, and we, we turn to walk away, and we hear her fucking kick it. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, <laughs> like no, man. Uh, like, we're going to come back and, and, and reconcile that shit eventually. Yeah, one time Nassau comes in there with some, <laughs> with some fucking good intentions. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, well, that brings us to end the session. I wanted to remind everyone to this. We do, well, on Thursdays at 9 p.m., we do After Dust, which is live on Twitch. Um, you can catch us anytime, D and D four twenty on Spotify. And also we have another thing like DM I guess DM's corner with our buddy Jim and Eric and you can uh it's at, at four twenty dot com. I'm D and D four twenty dot com. Yep. You can look you can listen to that podcast. So we have a couple other things. And Mike, I re- my, Twitch is it how do they search for it on Twitch? For on the, Twitch, the um, you can look for D and D four twenty if you want to search through the channels, or you can go to D. Uh, what is it? Twitch TV slash D and D underscore four twenty, and that's where we're at. Okay, all right, all right everyone, go bring this to the end. And uh, I'd like to say thank you for joining us. And again, gentlemen, I love playing with you guys. I want to give a kudos to Jim. It was a wonderful, you know, DM. Um, game master and you know of us role playing was really a great time. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. so, I do. I also want to want to say again, no. um, I I am going to miss playing um, with the character Brock uh, Bert. Yes, I'm yeah, yeah. Bert. Yeah. Bert's name was yeah. played very well by Bert. Yeah, yeah, it was played very very well by Bert. He will be missed. All right, again, uh, I've, I would like to remind you. My name is Tommy. I'm Mike. Yeah, I'm Matt. And I guess that's it for us tonight. You have a nice day.